Okay, so uh, two years down the road, you get the keys to the city. Which city? It's um, kind of like this strange part of town. It's called Sawville. What the fuck? I don't want those. You get the keys to the city of Sawville. Sawville is a um, kind of like I said, uh, an, an odd part of town where um, every night when the, the the tide you know comes in or whatever, <laughs> yeah, they uh, they all run outside and throw spears into the ocean, and um, they never actually like kill any like fish or anything. Never. They don't eat any of the fish or anything. They just throw it at the ocean. And uh, the elders say, the elders of Sawfield say that as long as you keep throwing spears at the ocean, they won't flood our city. So the inhabitants do that every single night. All of them. Yeah. Every every single person in Sawfield, every single night, leaves their home and they throw spears into the ocean. It's a more traditional group of people. Yeah, I'm just wanting to make sure we're on the same page. Has anybody ever yeah. not done it? A few. What happened to them? They wake up with boils. Oh. And when their boils pop, oh. uh, everyone learn everyone learns a secret about them. Oh God. How? How do they learn a secret about them? Telepathy. Oh, that so basically sucks. the point is that the people of Sawfield know what they have to do every single night. You know what I mean? And so they go out there and they do it. So, but that's, you know, irrelevant. The point is that you've been running a, uh, an open mic there for the past, uh, couple years. And it has brought so much joy to the people of Sawfield. Oh no. The name of the mic is called Softville Hard Laughs. Oh, bad. That sucks. With Aaron Brooks. So bad. And you've been hosting it for a little while. Softville but... Hard Laughs? Yeah, that's the name of your of your open mic. That fucking sucks, bad. That's Why? so bad. Softville Hard Laughs. It's a pun. It's not even that. It's a regrettable statement. <laughs> It's such a bad name for a show. So you've been running it there for, for a while. You do it uh, weekly at this place called. Um, um, Terrible Tim's Tiny Tacos. <laughs> Terrible Tim's Tiny Tacos. Yeah, they're uh, the newest thing uh, these days are like really tiny tacos. Uh, is it? Where, yeah, it's like this whole new thing that. Well, that's what Terrible Tim is trying to do. So he basically makes these uh, very tiny tacos, and they're actually very intricate tacos, um, in all honesty. Um, but what a waste. What, what, a, what an absolute waste of skill. <laughs> Why? It's the, it's the new rage. <sighs> intricate tiny tacos. People love it, dude. Uh, they eat that, and then they drink uh, local milk. Ugh. That's the new thing, too. With uh, th- There's a new culinary craze called the local milk revolution. And what it is is it basically um, encourages, you know, people to, if, if they're tourists visiting or if they're locals, drink local milk. Okay, how's that a, a revolution, Pat? Because the the revolution is about how good that fucking milk is, dude. <sighs> okay. Seems more of a marketing thing. Yeah. So the point is that you're hanging out. Like I said, a couple years down the road. You know, you get yeah. the keys to the city of Softville. Okay. You do a um, a celebratory uh, uh, show. It's uh, you headline. Uh, it is uh, Danny Goodwin is the feature, and it is hosted by Ben Sherlock. 
So are they giving me the key and like throwing this whole thing because of my contributions via Softville hard laughs? Yeah, basically. Like you've been running this open mic there and it's been going on for a while and it's been like, you know, it's pretty successful. It's, you know, it's part the, of the local economy. The open mic is such a local cultural touchstone that they award me the keys to the city. Well, you know how comics are. Uh, comics will go travel, you know, however far to do a mic. So it's like, you know, they, they, you pack it out. It, they make a lot of money. It, it's a, it's good for the local business. It's good for local okay. economy. You know what I mean? It's a so weekly, the is it a weekly city. show? Yes. Keys to the city. What does that, what does that do for me? Um, free meatballs every Friday and uh, happy hour prices at every single place in Southville. All the time. The, yeah. The point is that when they give you the keys to the city of Southville, they do this like performance. So it's you and it's uh Danny Goodwin. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, Ben Sherlock. Yeah, Ben Sherlock. So you guys, uh, you know, uh, do the show and stuff. Uh, ben goes up there, gets the crowd pretty hyped up, uh, does a great job, brings up Danny, who fucking just eats shit. So you oh, go up no, after Danny. him. Yeah, it, it is. It, but it is so much fun for you to watch. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I bet. So you go up there and you're and the first thing you say is you just go like, huh? Danny Goodwin, huh? More like Danny bad at comedy. And there <laughs> is a standing ovation. Like they hated him so bad, dude. Oh, that's a so you, visceral reaction. Man. It was a terrible set. And all on it, it's, you know, he just, he went up there. I mean, Ben did great and you do great, but Danny eats fucking shit. So it's like, you know, who's to blame? Pick it up, Danny. So you do uh, the show and you get uh, at the end of it. They give you the, the keys to the city. The mayor yeah. Sawfill comes up. What's his Spy- name? Spider Jenkins <laughs> comes up. And, his name uh, is Spider Jenkins. Yeah, he's the mayor Sawfill. Is he a human? Is he a human mayor? Yeah, he looks human. What, Pat? That's not the same. That's not the answer to the question I asked you. He looks human, except every once in a while oh, when you see him you. in the shadows, you it's almost Why like Why am I seeing see... him in the shadows? He's the mayor. Why is the mayor lurking in shadows, Pat? Is he a spider? Is that why? <laughs> Look, I don't want to put ideas in your head, but sometimes when you do see him in the shadows, it's almost like you're looking directly in the blood red eyes of a demon spider from hell. <sighs> Jesus Christ. So you get the, the keys to the city and uh, you kind of look at him and you're like, all right, well, thanks, I guess. And everyone's like, yeah. Cool. You, yeah. And so you use those keys and you walk back uh, to your car. You're like, well, time to go home. You know, you walk over to your car and you, uh, you sit down into the, the driver's seat and suddenly you realize you don't have your keys with you. The only thing you have is that key to the city of Sawville. Where the fuck is my other key? You you have no idea. You don't know where you're going to drop them. Great. This is fucking, this is my worst nightmare. So you think that to yourself, you think about how terrible of a nightmare this is, how this really just fucks with you. And then you look down at the ignition. And it's almost like it's glowing a certain shade of gold around it. And you're going to go a certain shade of gold. And you look at it and you go, (laughs) yuck, what the heck? And then you look down and you see that uh, the the key to the city of Sawville has that same strange off gold energy around it. What do you do? I would go, well, I know this shouldn't work because this is not the key, but does it fit for some reason? 
You pick up that uh, golden key to Sawville. You put it into that uh, little ignition slit. Oh, Pat. <laughs> and it takes like just a second God. to go in. You know what I mean? The look on your face. What do you mean? <laughs> when you said slit was alarming. <laughs> Wait, how do you mean it? it Explain was, yourself. It looked so menacing. <laughs> Why? I don't know, because you made your face look menacing, Pat. No, I didn't. God damn. It slips right in. And for a second, it's almost like when you turn the key, it's almost like you hear your engine moan just a little. No, 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 I don't. No, I fucking don't, Pat. You absolutely do. How does it sound? Uh, I mean, you know, I'm not going to do an impression of it, but it's, you know, it's basically what you think it was. The sound of a. A woman in ecstasy. <laughs> That's what my engine sounds like. What do you turn it on? Is it like For a, just a second? Does it sound like a human woman in ecstasy, or is it like a mechanized, yeah. like an engine no. woman? Human baby. Oh, so it's I'm, like almost like I'm it's a talking sound effect. carbon-based life forms. Oh. A carbon-based life form in ecstasy. That's what it sounded like. <sighs> so you're kind of like, all right, whatever, and uh, you hit the gas, and it's kind of strange because. The second that you hit the gas, it's almost like you're transported to this different state of existence. Yeah. The fuck does that mean? Almost like you're on the uh, the the reality highway. Yeah. You're just screaming down the reality highway and you're like what the fuck is going on how did this happen and you kind of turn to the side and next to you is this is this uh city bus and uh this guy is like kind of like looking at you he uh is dressed like a a pirate he has a a crow on his uh, right shoulder and he kind of like looks at you and he he just kind of like shrugs and he just goes like waves and goes hey aaron and you kind of go like hello you look at his uh name tag it just says j period crow (laughs) yeah Suddenly, there's this like giant thing of light ahead of you on the uh, the reality parkway, and uh, you're kind of like, "What the heck?" But it's too late for you to do anything. You go right into that light, and suddenly you have to close your eyes because it's so bright inside your fucking eyelids. Why is it so bright inside my fucking eyelids? You kind of like, what the heck? You open your eyes and you kind of look around and you realize that you're back in the wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. That song starts playing. Wild, wild west. When I stroll into the wild, wild west. When I roll into the wild, wild west. We're going straight to the the wild, wild wild west. west. We're going straight to the wild, wild, wild west. You kind of like look around and you're like, what the hell? And you kind of look down at yourself and you're dressed like a a cowboy of that time period would dress like. You know, I love Back to the Future 3. I would be all about this. And you honestly are. You just are like walking through the town. Bad do guys I, do I like, have guns on my hips? You have two six shooters. Hell yeah. You kind of walk through the town flipping your guns around. You know what I mean? What? I'm not going to flip them around. I'm not a showman like that. You are, though, dude. You look like a badass. No one fucks with you. People like jump to like, you know, hide behind alleys and I don't want to scare saloons. people. I want to be a force of good. I don't want, I don't want people to cower and fear because i'm flippantly flipping my guns but you think to yourself sometimes to get respect no pat i'm not that kind of guy (laughs) you have 
to spread fear. You got to crack a few eggs if you want to make an omelet, you know, but I'm not that kind of guy. Except you think to your, you, you, you think that you're not, but you think to yourself about how much you love omelets. I do love omelets. That is a well-known fact about me. You walk around the corner and you see uh, the sheriff of the town and he is uh, in a fight. There's two like obvious, you know, bad guys from the wild, wild west. Uh, wild, you know, wild like, west. When I stroll into the wild, wild west. When I roll into the wild, wild west. So what happens is there's like a bad guy holding uh, the uh, the sheriff. His name is Dusty Cowpoke. Oh. And he's being held from behind. <laughs> and the other bad guy is punching him in the face. And none of them notice you. What do you do? Do I know that the sheriff is like a good dude? All you know is that he's the sheriff of the wild, wild west. Wild, wild west. That's his official title. I mean, do I know anything about him? Is there a reason no, why no. he should be getting his ass kicked? I mean, you don't. You mean you kind of think that to yourself, but you look at the guys who are kicking his ass, and you're like, these guys look like trouble. They what? You know, they look like trouble. They're wearing uh, leather jackets on the back of them, just these giant skulls, and it says, "We're bad guys." <sighs> probably gonna go break up the fight yeah yeah i'm not gonna sympathize with the cops but like sure you know it's clearly like so you you run it's a two-on-one like that sure you know you run towards them and uh they don't notice you until it's too late and the guy who's holding dusty cowpoke looks up at you and he goes what but by the time he says that you have already jumped in the air and done a vicious jump kick to this guy's fucking face. I don't want to hurt him. I just want to separate them. You don't want to hurt him. And, th and that's why you jump kicked him instead of, you know, something more deadly. But as you jump kick this guy, you think to yourself, you know, you go, this is for all the victims. And you kick this motherfucker. Ugh right in his face he just falls over knocked unconscious you land on your feet like, <laughs> turn around like, like a badass yeah everyone kind of looks at you do i know martial arts it sounds like no it is just a oh, fluke it's just a god-given ability that i can jump kick people there's one more bad guy staring at you he's kind of like stunned for a second what do you do i go you might tell me what this was about and i pull a pistol out and I fucking spit it on my finger. He goes, yeah, I got someone to tell you. You're dead. See? And then he, I, pulls I, out the cop, he pulls out the gun. Yeah, I'm going to fucking blow this guy away. If, he's, if, he draws a, if he draws a gun on me, I'm going to have to shoot him, Pat. You blow him away effortlessly. Yeah. Like it's nothing. And you kind of like flip your gun around and put it back into your gun holster. I blow the for smoke off the barrel first. You blow that smoke off the barrel, <sighs> and for a second, the smoke coming off the barrel forms the shape of a fucking pentagram. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you put that gun back into your holster. You look over at Dusty Cowpoke. He looks over at you, and he goes, that's a mighty fine shooting, partner. What do you say? He threatened my life. He goes, he goes I appreciate you stepping in and saving my life. You, what's going on? He goes, oh, I'm Sheriff Dusty Cowpoke. He goes, welcome to the wild, wild west. Why were they beating you up? He goes, well, these guys uh, robbed a caravan and I had to take them to jail. But Are you going to give this one medical attention? He goes, it's too late. He's already dead. You look both down, of them are dead? They're both dead. I kicked that guy to death? Turns out you don't know your own strength. It turns out that uh, when you travel back in time, uh, there are kicks. You know, it's kind of like how, um, you know, how, like people nowadays are born taller than they were back in the day. Yeah. It's kind of like that, except of uh, except people that we grew, you know, of our 
planet Earth that you and I live on, we're pretty resistant to jump kicks. But it turns out that the people back then are not <laughs> quite as resistant. It yeah. just wasn't as common of an attack. So, like, sure. no, you fucking share that guy's jaw and he fucking dies. Great. Good to know. Now I've killed two people in the past. But they were bad the wild, guys. Wild West. So Dusty Catpook Dusty Catpook asks you to uh, join him as uh, basically Dusty would be, uh, you know, the sheriff of the town. You would be his, you know, deputy sheriff. He goes, I think you and I, we could make a a, a, a a big difference here in town. What do you say, partner? He winks at you. Absolutely not. I don't want to be a cop. You know what I mean? I don't want to be a cop. I don't like the idea of having killed two people already. I don't want to be a cop. And he just goes, oh, well, that's all right, my friend. He shakes your hand. You look at his eyes. You know how, like, sometimes, uh, like, dogs, they can kind of smile at you with their eyes? Yeah. So, yeah. He kind of smiles at you with his eyes, and you know there's no hard feelings. I would probably tell him, like, hey, if you need help with something, you can, like, reach me. But you need to, like, hire a deputy. <laughs> you need to hire you need to hire somebody <laughs> because there can't be one of you to defend yourself against more than one person <laughs> you were easily overtaken and getting beaten until i jump kicked the man to death <laughs> and shot the other one you need to hire some help <laughs> he's like he kind of looks at you and he goes thank you Aaron. i'll think about that he smiles. Please, please do. Let me know if you need anything. And he goes, I will. And then um, he just kind of like smiles. And then like the whole crowd like does the thing where they uh, they put them up. They hoist them up on their shoulders. And they're like, dusty cow poke, dusty cow poke. And they kind of like leave. And you're like, what? You know, whatever. And you're like, well, this has been kind of strange. You kind of turn around and. There's only one guy who has stayed there with you. Yeah. He's this guy. He, he's wearing like like a, um, a coat of many colors. Yeah. He has like a, a like a hacky sack with him. Yeah. You know, it's wearing like pajama pants. Sure. He goes, he goes. Hey, Aaron, it's me, the God of California. Ha! <laughs> he goes, what are you doing in this time period, brah? Ha! I, I don't fucking know what I'm doing here. I showed up. I jump kicked a man to death. I shot another one in the gut. <laughs> they wanted me to be a fucking cop. <laughs> He goes, he goes, whoa, that's not gnarly at all. Ha. He goes, anyway, Aaron, you want to go back to your time period? Yeah. I'll help you out. Oh. You oh, God. I wish, I wish people could see your face. <laughs> you do that. <laughs> what do you mean? You look like you're in complete ecstasy. <laughs> You look like you're enjoying it so much. <laughs> I'm in character. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you are loving it. Like you are on the edge. <laughs> yeah, I want to go back to where I'm from. What the fuck do I have to do to get out of here? He goes... He goes, take my hand. Oh. <laughs> do you take his hand? Yeah, I do. You take his hand and you kind of like blank. And suddenly there's like a bright light and you end up in a California pizza kitchen. CPK, baby. Yeah. That's pretty he cool. Goes, yeah, it's actually kind of like a uh, a pretty interesting thing. And he goes... Aaron, you messed with the timeline of California. 
He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, I have to fix it. (laughs) Great. He goes, but I don't know if I can fix it 100 percent, you know, he goes. Will you pray for me? Not a, I'm not really a man of faith. He goes, I'm just kidding, partner. <laughs> he goes, give me just a second. I'll fix it. And he kind of disappears for a second. Good. Thank God. And you're like, what Get the fuck? Was here. It? You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> he comes back. He's like, in a blink of an eye. And he's like, I fixed the timeline for the wild, <laughs> wild west, bro. Wild, wild he, west. And he goes, when I stroll into the. <laughs> when I roll into the Wild Wild West You hear Cisco singing in the background And he goes Alright Aaron you're free to go And he goes Just don't Keep all the tubular waves For yourself <laughs> oh, Save some for me oh, the, ga- the god of California <laughs> He winks at you for a second, in the background, you just hear, I wish they all could, could be, be California, California What do you do? Am I back in my real time? Yeah. I don't fucking know, Pat. I don't know what I do. I would just go back to living my life. You know? Yeah. I mean, what other choice do I have? Am I supposed to tell somebody about what happened to me just now? I mean, what am I going to say? <laughs> I traveled back in time. I kicked one man to death. I shot another one. I turned down an offer to become a deputy. Yeah. But thank God the God of California was there. The horniest of all gods. <laughs> and he brought me back to my timeline. Suddenly you kind of like blank and you just kind of like jump out of bed. Why? It turns out this whole thing was just a dream. Oh, Good. And you go, holy shit. And you're back to your normal life. And you kind of, for a second, you're kind of like freaked out. But you go, you kind of take a deep breath and you go, all right, I'm back to normal. None of that crazy stuff happened. The God of California isn't real. None of this shit happened. You're kind of like, all right. You kind of like uh, walk out uh, of your uh, bedroom to grab a a drink of water. Yeah. And you grab a drink of water and you look up. And uh, right as you look up, you see that. North Korea has fired several uh, nukes oh, to California. Great, and they uh, they pl- they blow up Los Angeles, and great. you die in this in this uh, this nuclear <laughs> holocaust. Just a fear I live with every day, you know, of being in a city that's probably going to be <laughs> bombed. The there was no happens. warning, absolutely no warning. Yeah, it set off I World wouldn't War. Th- I wouldn't want a warning. It set off World War Three. It turned, and it was a crazy experience, man. Argentina won. Yeah, good for them. Yeah, I'm fucking dead. I don't care. Oh yeah, you were. Obli- I mean, you and everyone that you're friends with in L.A. You guys were just, you know, to, to turn to yeah. cinder. I mean, that's probably the best way to go, I guess. Yeah, but it did hurt very bad. Well, I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, I guess that's it. You that fucking, fucking sucks. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. Why? Fuck you. <laughs>